okay, another example. Roddy Rich ain't one of them that be just out here like, hey, hey, flashing this and that and all this other stuff. So I would tell him, like, don't be one of them niggas that's like fucking always like flashing your money and buying all this flashy, showy shit. Just be real subtle and like really tone it down. You know Humility. what I'm saying? Yeah, like just less is more. That's what I like. Less is more. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. Sublime. All right, so remember last time we were talking about, not last time on camera, but off camera, we were talking about like what it's like to be, <laughs> what it's like to be fine. And, and, what, um, Why are you going to make this? No, nah, because I think it's an interesting conversation. But like what, how do men interact with you just based on how you look? What, what have you noticed? We'll go from there. I already know when you looking at me, it's a look of... <laughs> I already know when a nigga lay eyes on me, I already know what he already, you know, conjuring his thoughts up with and shit. Say more, what is that? Like, okay, let me give you an example. I can post a regular selfie, right? And not even doing nothing, like a real snap. And then, um, here go niggas, talking about my lips and all type of shit. Some of them are like, you got some nice lips and this and that, but and you get niggas that just do too much. So I already, like, when you start doing too much, I already know. Because don't be sitting up here fucking, like, creating things in your head. I already know. When you when you saying shit like that, I just know what you're thinking. Because then people will be like, you got DSLs and shit like that. DSL was that? Dick sucking lips. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't even funny. Yeah, I didn't know that's what it was. Yeah. DSL. Huh. You got DSL. They used to say that in middle school. Yeah. Dick sucking lips. I don't know middle school you went to. But uh, so, you know, we talk about like how women go to the gas station and stuff and they always get harassed and stuff. Like, what is, as a dude, I don't really understand that. But like, what's the experience as a woman? Harassment. Like, walk me through it. Like, what type of dude hey. is? Hey. That's all. It ain't going to be nothing else other than, hey, hey, that's it. I'm going to just keep walking. So what's the right way to do it? If you had to sit, you had to sit them all. I'm going to the gas to station to get me some gas or go in and get me some woods or something. Like, I'm not even trying to be in there for no more than five minutes. So I'm already going in with the thought process of get in and get out. It's the gas station. So I'm going to try to avoid any type of interaction, period. So what's a good place? If somebody is really trying to get at you, what's a good place? Or is it less about the place and more about the person? And both of them. Oh, that's it. Tell me more. Both of them. Like, if we had a public event, that's uh, that's okay. Um, like, I wouldn't say at the gas station. Like, that's me. That's like similar to, like, mm. Mm -hmm. I really can't even really pinpoint what's the best place to holler at a female. I really can't say it. It really all depends on the female. I would say the worst place to even try to even like do that is the club. I would not talk to nobody uh, at the Why? club. Because like, come on now. Just think about it. You at the club. That ain't even... You already know what type of people you going to meet at the club. So typically, typically okay. what type of person you going to meet at the club. You leave the club, somebody hang you up, what you finna do? It's fucking two in the morning. You already know what motherfuckers trying to do at two in the morning after the club. I do not want to talk to people who, I mean, I do not want to like meet nobody at the club. Like, 
I will not allow that. I don't want that. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, like, a lot of people do say nobody at the club is looking for something serious or nobody at the club is a good person or whatever the case may be. But if you're at the club and you consider yourself a good person, it could be other good people at the club. I too, never right? said that it was um, bad people at the club. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm saying some people say that. Like, if you want to meet somebody, go to church or go to this or go to that, but the club is not the right place. Well, that's me personally. I don't want to meet nobody at the club because it's just not a type of environment I don't want to meet somebody with. Meet somebody if I'm going to be like talking to somebody. To a church for you? Church? Hell no. Church, really? Hell no. So where where is the ideal place for, for you? I can't even say it's no ideal. Like people, like we can be crossing the street and you bump into me and... If somebody bump into you, you be trying to fight. I mean, not a dude. <laughs> I mean, not a dude. Not a dude. And I've been bumped on purpose before just for a nigga to like try to get my attention. That's crazy. But, so that doesn't work? It just depends on me, man. I don't know. I'm just not very... I don't know. I, don't, I might got a problem, low-key. Because I don't be liking nobody. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Um, if you can't give men advice on how to get somebody like you, just in general, if you were a dude... I think I asked you this last time, but if you were a dude, how would you... You know what I'm saying? How would you approach women? What have you seen that, okay, if I was a dude, I'd want to do it. I would like be did. cool. Like, this is the thing. Like, sometimes, like, if you too formal, I'm going to feel like you too serious. But, like, if you cool, I don't know. Like, my personality is just, like, silly, funny, goofy. Like, you come walk up on me and tell me a joke or something, do something, make me laugh. That's, like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to... It can possibly spark an interest because, like, now, like, without you even trying, we just, like, connected in some sort of way, you know? So, it just all depends on the female or it depends on the dude or depend on where you at because if you in a club trying to talk to somebody, music loud, I don't, just get out of my face. I don't even, yeah. Even if it's, uh, who's celebrity you like? After the club, what? Who's celebrity you like? Like what? Michael B. Jordan. What celebrity? Yeah, like who like who who's the celebrity that you'd be like, you know what, he can get away with it. Roddy Rich. Okay. I so love Roddy if Rich. If Roddy Rich tried to talk to you at the club, that would work. Mm -hmm. But he would have to stand up on his tippy toes. To try to, try to. I don't even know. I ain't never seen him in person, so I don't know. I know he's short though. He's like man. five. Five. <laughs> If we the same, <laughs> you probably told him. If we not, the no same, joke. I mean, he probably like five four. I'm not even joking. But he's Roddy Rich still. I mean, I don't talk to a short dude before. Yeah. Well, not short. I mean, it, you not short like shorter than me, but at least my height are better. So, Rod, but you say Roddy Rich? That's yeah, what but that's what I'm saying. Like, I really don't even know if he really. So if he's short, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he might can, he might can get him. So famous I, I niggas like have Roddy a different. Rich. I like Roddy Rich. So got you. That's yeah. So if you're famous, is a little different. No, it ain't got. It's nothing a different to do. set of rules. It ain't got nothing to do. With if Roddy this. Rich was a regular dude, you wouldn't like him. And he was still okay. So take away the fame and the money take away from the Roddy fame, Rich, yeah. and he a regular nigga. But I still think like if he. It, it just got a lot to do with, like, just your energy and your vibes and, like, your charisma. Just how you, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas with, like, Roddy Rich energy who work at the factory. Who what? Work at the factory. Or they flipping burgers. They just haven't, you know, they haven't made it yet. I understand. <laughs> I understand. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it is the fame. You can't separate. It's not. It's not. You wouldn't know who he was. Because I in general, like he just. What do you like about Roddy? Because I like the fact that Roddy Rich ain't on Front Street with his business. He a, a really low key dude. Like he don't. 
you know, put himself out there until he wants to. Like he, you don't hear about Roddy Rich and no bullshit out there. Like he quiet. You know what I'm saying? But it's other five four dudes who the same way. They just not just rich the and fact famous. That is Roddy. Rich. Okay, you want me to name somebody? You want me to name a bro nigga or something? Yeah, like, name a bro nigga. I don't know what. <laughs> I mean, whatever bro nigga I name, it ain't like they gonna anybody gonna know him. <clears throat> so. I think what I'm trying to get at is like for, let's say it's a 17 year old watching this, 18 year old, 20 year old, and they're trying to understand women and understand how they could be more successful. Like, like how they, like the 16, 17 year old can be more successful with like getting women. good women. Like what, what can he take from what you observed with Roddy Rich or somebody else that you... I wouldn't say, like, try to go be like nobody. Just... You no, know I'm saying? Like, you know how we take pieces of people. You know what I'm saying? I like how he do this. So I'm going to take a piece of that. I okay. Like how they do that. Okay. Another example. Roddy Rich ain't one of them niggas that be just out here like, hey, hey, flashing this and that and all this type of stuff. So I would tell him, like, don't be one of them niggas that's like fucking always like flashing your money and buying all this flashy showy shit. Just be real subtle and like really tone it down. You know Humility. what I'm saying? Yeah, like just less is more. That's what I like. Less is more. I don't really like all that big boasting, bragging shit. It's just really obnoxious and it's just doing too much. That's not gonna move me. But a lot of females ain't like that, so. You know, some females like a nigga to do all that. So so in her mind, that clicks that, okay, he having shit like that. So that's who I need to be fucking with. Niggas that's low key it might confuse bitches that need to see the glitter and glam for her to know that that's what it is. And it's like low key niggas that really be having probably way more than the flashy niggas. So. I know a couple dudes like that. Like. The that do too key. much, but ain't. Mm-mm. Oh, low that key. do little, but really have a lot. Yeah, and it's a lot that do a lot and don't got nothing. So that's that'll be confusing to females too. So just don't even worry about that and just be yourself and just be yourself. <laughs> that's the best advice I can give somebody. All right, so let's talk about the last um, the last interview. And the reception you got and the comments you got and the things that you said. Is is there anything that jumps out to you from the last interview that you you felt like you need you did you needed to clear up? You felt okay, like so come out I right saw right? how a lot of people were um complaining about how I be saying <laughs> about how I say like a lot and I can't help it like like, like, but I'm gonna work on that because I do need to stop saying them. Yeah. But other than that, I just a lot of other other stuff I went back and watched. I mean, over time, you know, you can learn to like change your view on things. So I can I feel like some of the things I said, I can look back now and be like, maybe that ain't the right way to look at it and stuff like that. So so it's like, even though they was talking shit, I, I can still like accept the criticism and see, even though niggas was mad in the, I mean, my bad, they don't like when I say niggas either. All the men in the comments was mad and shit like that. But um, I get like what they were saying because I was looking in. I'll consider like their points of view as well because you know, I never said once ever that my own way of thinking was the right way. It's just my own opinion on things. So yeah, when, like, okay, for instance, the video, the one on like being submissive and stuff uh, and how I feel like it's conditional and somebody in the comments was like, submission is a requirement, not a condition. And um, when you were explaining it to me, I mean, I get what you were saying because, like, as women, it should just automatically just be within us. And I was saying that it just depends on the man. And I kind of agree and I kind of disagree still. So I'm kind of still stuck in the middle, but I'm still, like, working on it. So let's talk about it. You think submission should be... Not all the time. I just feel like it just depends on the person. Like, 
say you getting into a relationship and you with somebody for a few years and shit like that, and you've been that type of female, like, uh, to be kind and soft spoken and submissive and you listen and you're you know, um, you're agreeable and shit like that and things change and you know, over time people will eventually reveal who they really are. So then what if she don't wanna be submissive no more because of like how she's being treated in a relationship or how he's conducting himself now, like, why do you deserve for me to be so loving and caring and all this shit and you don't even want to do right? Now there's a problem. So now there's like fights and like disagreements and shit like that. It's just, I just, I don't want to put it in a way that, so like, I don't want to put it in a way that being submissive comes with conditions, but I just want men to acknowledge the fact that they play a role also in how a woman treats you or is towards you or how she conducts herself like in the relationship with you. Like that's all. That's how I look at it. Because the reason I say it's conditional is you just never know who you dealing with. So I'm not going to be sweet and nice to you and you an asshole. That's not fair. And I, I want to, I'm like, I'm over here want to be submissive and you over here like just acting like I ain't nothing. No, my opinion don't matter because I'm a woman, but you want me to just lay down and just listen to everything. And that's not fair. It's not fair, like, because at the end of the day, like, why do we have to be so small and why we got to shrink ourselves for a man to be a man? Like, why the fuck we can't have a voice, too, in the house? Why we can't pull our own way either? And the fact that women today in modern, in the modern world want to pull their own weight around here is like, y'all be wanting to fight us for that. Like, why we got to, why we got to be all that just because we want something for ourselves? Should, should masculinity be conditional? Like, should men take that same approach? Mm, mm. You already had said that before. And I, okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? Let's, let's put it like this. I got two things to say. One, should masculinity be conditional? I don't think it should be, but I will say this. You know, for example, people say, treat a female how she deserved to be treated. So however somebody carry herself, if a female don't respect herself, would you respect her? But I'm, I'm not talking about just any female, I'm talking about the one you're with. Just like with a dude, the dude you're with, you should submit to him. And the woman you're with, you should cater to her and provide for her and the whole nine. But you're saying that people change, so should men come in with that same mindset? And be like, oh, I'm only going to uh, be sweet to you or buy you stuff or take care of you if you dot, 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 dot. That's not how I was really saying it, though. But that's how a lot of women move, though. Like, it's, it's almost at the back of your mind. You're waiting on the dude to fuck up. And dudes, can we can feel that. Because it's, it's certain dudes, they've done everything. They've checked all the boxes. Everything that you might say is a condition. They've met all the conditions and they still don't get submission. So like, what do you say to, to them? And when I talk to women, they say something similar. Oh, he might switch up or you never actually know how people are. But things don't ever remain the same. And that's what's fucked up though. And you even said men get tired. So... What's the difference? Y'all are, what you say, we're made to move on and want better. Who said? Men you or women? Said, you said No, that. different. I said we want different. Different, better, same It's thing. not the same thing. When it comes to this type of situation, it's not yes, the same it is. Thing. It's because, not. because at the end of the day, like. Women want better. Men want different. I'm just talking about how we're wired. Like, if we talk about, like, white men cheat versus white women cheat. For men, most of the time, it's about different. It's not about better. But we will get there. This is, is this? the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Okay, talk to me. 
If y'all can't be with one woman anyway, why the fuck do it matter if you're getting this type of certain person or treatment out of a woman when y'all gonna probably five years later be done with us and go move on to the next person anyway and we the ones gonna be hurt. Y'all can move on and just switch up women like if you want to, but like we gonna be the ones stuck with the scars, that's, with the pain. But that that's saying that like most men or the majority of men cheat, that's not true. Even if like biologically we we might want to, most dudes just want a good woman they can build with, they can grow old with. But but if you're going in with bad expectations, with like bad faith, then you're not setting the relationship up for success. Could you see yourself with one woman for twenty years? Me? Yes. For yes. twenty years, you can see this the same pussy, the same pussy that pushed out your kids, the body that changed the. I mean. The kids that changed the physical form of her body from once. So she not going to look the same from when you met her at fucking 27. And now 20 years later, she's, everything done changed. She's, you know, when I'm she's ready getting to settle wrinkly, down, everything dropping and shit like when, that. So when, I'm, when I'm ready to settle down, yes. Absolutely. When I'm ready to settle when down, When you're ready yes. to settle down. But you didn't say that when I just asked you, could you be with somebody for 20 years? Yes, when I'm ready to settle down. It could be both. Now I'm I'm admitting that we men, can be with one man forever. Y'all can't be with one woman, and it's just fucked up how we gotta do so much to keep y'all when y'all can't even stick with one woman anyway. Let's talk. That's about blow. It. That blows me. Let's talk about it. Okay, so why do you think men can't be with one woman? Let's because let's really get to the science. It's not about why do I think. It's things I've learned over time. Things I've seen. Things I've been told. Things I've stumbled over and you know figured out on, on my own so it's just like one of the things you got to accept because at the end of the day men and women were not created equal it's the reason why it's so much power in masculinity and, and it's the reason why women have to be down here when men while men are up here it's the reason why women got to sit at the house with the kids why, why the men go out and provide and do all the big shit it's the reason why we're only for nurturing and y'all are only for all the hard shit. That's not true. Shit like that. That's not true. Especially nowadays. What's not true? It's changing. Like, women are just for nurturing? No, I don't think that. Okay, but what's not true? But no, nah, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, technically speaking, like, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it was built to be. Going all the way. My granddaddy had two wives. One woman you know in, in Nigeria can go to Nigeria and say she wants two husbands or anywhere else in the world. Because it wouldn't work. Exactly. But what, let, That's I my want, point. I, I it want you even, to answer. It all the shit, when it comes to men and women, the shit is not, I don't know how to put it. I'm not finna say nothing is in our favor because really just all that shit y'all got to do for us. But I'm just saying like, y'all going to go be with another woman anyway. Why the fuck we got to no, put all this work into trying to keep you? And not you going to go get somebody else 10 years after we break up. And okay, so let you don't left you. me with a dog, four kids, let me ask and all you that this. type of let shit. Me ask you Stretch this. marks, is, oatmeal stomach. Is Russell Wilson going to leave yeah. Sierra? Because Here he wants other go. women. No, let's talk Here about it. Go. Is Russell Wilson going to leave Sierra? Because he want other women. Because you said men are gonna, men are gonna, men are gonna. So answer. I ain't got nothing to say about that. The answer is no. You don't know that. You don't know, do that, know that, man. You I don't know, know that, man. I know you certain, don't know her. You I, don't know him. I know certain type of men. And man, the point you is. You don't know him. You ever had a conversation with him? You met him? You talked to him? I know Russell Wilson. You, you, you be in the house? I know Russell Wilson. You in that Wilson. business? I'm using him you as an example. You was there when they got married? It's an example. You can see it to the future? Yes. No, you, what is wrong with you? <laughs> the point I'm making is certain types of dudes, everything you're saying is true. Other types of dudes, nah, they want somebody they could grow with. Okay, you know but majority, listen, having majority, a bunch of women, no. Russell Wilson is like out of the... It's more Russell Wilson's out here than Futures. You crazy. No, you crazy. So then why, um, if that's the case, then why the fuck is so many of us saying we can't get them in? Because y'all want future to act like Russell Wilson. No. Yeah, bro. that's no, what it bro. is. <laughs> that's what it is. Y'all want future to act like Russell Wilson. And it's like you want two different types of men. But in you one. know what though? 